Hello my beautiful Aries friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, all viewers, all cross watchers. Let's look and see what the overall energy is. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. Let's see, we have surround yourself with protective energy. We have transform and unveil your gifts in this relationship. And we have be graceful in movement and action. Okay, so what do we have? We're going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you, Aries. And we will clarify the reading for you. But this is a very popular reading. Everybody likes to know what's going on with the other person. All right, so we have Five of Wands, feeling competitive, Definitely using your head over heart to make a decision about someone who's not taking action. It looks like there's some stress in this relationship currently, but let's jump into the reading. Who knows? Ten of coins in the recent past. Your person feels very much like you're the one. They can build a legacy with you. They love you. They're invested. Monday through Sunday, they're doing the work of the relationship. They see you as their forever person. Okay. Currently, their energy is Seven of Coins, being very invested in the relationship. They definitely are feeling as though, you know, they're looking forward to advancements and growth in the relationship. They very much want to have a win with you. The Ace of Swords, your person is really seeking the truth, balance, you know, the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, a lot of clarity. So when they think of you, they know just what they want. They want to invest. They want you to invest back. They want reciprocity. But, you know, when we look at the energy that your person is very much in the energy of, you know, being very protective of the relationship. And they really want both of you to prosper in this relationship with showing your gifts. You know, the graceful movement and action is very important to them to help make this relationship progress. So in terms of their heart space, oh, they have fire in their belly for you. This is Virgo energy, Virgo energy, um, Taurus energy, excuse me, um, air sign energy. But they're feeling for you, Aries this beautiful strength card, the infinity symbol. They feel like your person uh, feels as though you're the one for them for the rest of their lives. This is a lifetime legacy relationship. So when we see the strength card, we get the infinity symbol, another sign that your person wants and feels in their heart space that they love you so deeply. They fiercely love you. They fiercely want to protect the relationship. They want to be there for you. They want to be there for themselves. You bring out the best in them, Aries. The Four of Wands, oh, love it. Twin Flame, you know, 1111, uh, building a foundation, buying a home, investing in a long-term relationship from a tangible level, living together, renting a place together. But that is a commitment card, two cards of deep commitment and the major arcana of the strength. In their heart space, they know that you are the one. Not only that, in their heart space, they love the passion. That is what they find so brilliant. There's so much, the energy of the relationship is fun, it's passionate, it's sexy. When they feel in their heart space, they get, you know, when they have these feelings about you, they get turned on, quite literally. In terms of their intentions, they want to have a new beginning. They always like to have new growth in a relationship. Your person has a very, there's a part of them that's very whimsical, very childlike. They like to have fun. We see a, basically a unicorn with black and white braids. So they love the fact that you are novel. You're different. You're not run of the mill. And they feel they are, are the same way. They love the fact that every day is a new adventure with you, that every day when they wake up they're not quite sure what's going to happen but they do like throwing caution to the winds they like having adventures with you that is their intention and a sense of wands page of wands energy again figuring out what new adventures the two of you can have together where you can go intending to throw caution to the winds and the nine of cups happily 
it's not quite happily ever after, but it is the happiest, you know, one of the happiest cards in the deck. It really is all about eat, drink, be merry, enjoy life, live in the moment, have the sensuality, create the stability, create this everlasting relationship that can go the distance. So what they have in mind for this relationship is quite lovely. We have their actions, the Eight of Coins, Virgo Energy, really wanting to know even more about you, learning to perfect the way they come into this relationship, being willing to work on it once again, Seven of Coins to the Eight of Coins, nice progressive energy. In terms of what they want right now with you, in terms of their actions, they want to collaborate with you, they want to make decisions as a team, the two of you plus your relationship energy, quite collaborative. It's, honey, let's go to Home Depot and figure out what we're going to do with the yard next year. Let's plant something. You know, let's invest. Let's paint a room. Let's plan our lives together. And that is their action. The innocence of swords also speaks to the fact that your person loves to communicate with you. They love to um, watch you on social media. They do spy on you. They're always kind of watching you. You're very intriguing to them, uh, Aries. So let's clarify the energy. Your person is in it to win it. They want the very best for the two of you, and they plan. They're very harmonious in terms of their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. I always love it when it's a very squeaky sort of pure reading from the standpoint of what somebody wants with you. The moon card says that they're not quite sure about the legacy relationship. Uh, they feel as though the two of you need to be a little bit more adventurous to build a little bit more legacy, but they like the history that they have with you. They do feel as though you tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Your person really feels as though you're fair, you're balanced, you're reasonable. They see you also as being invested here. So what do we have in terms of their thoughts? The Three of Cups, the card of celebration, the card of being best friends. They feel as though you are the closest person to them in the world, Aries. Three of Cups is a celebration. Put an Ace of Coins with that and you have an engagement. The Three of Cups is a celebration among friends for happiness, joy, laughter. They like being with you in groups of people. They think that you're a lot of fun. Again, they see you as very sharp-witted, very funny, to the point. They just love that about you, Seven of Coins. Uh, they see you again as somebody who's invested in them. We have the repeat of the Seven of Coins. You have the same values. The Seven of Coins energy is speaking to the fact that both of you are willing to work, to contribute, that you both want the relationship to go forward. In terms of their heart space, we do see the strength card clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, a card of nurturing, a card of wanting to nurture something fully uh, to bring out everything that's potential in this relationship. Your person really wants to, they like to hold you, they like to cuddle with you, they like to be close to you, they like to give to you. Your person intends on giving more uh, as the wheel of fortune turns and they can bring more into the relationship. That is their intention. They also want a new place to live with you. The Four of Wands quite literally is a structure. Um, it, it typically is a bride and groom under the, gar the garland dancing at their wedding and building the foundation. So this is a foundation. They want to build a new foundation with you. So your person is very much in the energy of wanting to have something beautiful with you. They want to have a new home, some place with a yard, some place to build legacy. Once again, very much geared to legacy. Your person loves the sexiness of the relationship. They think that sometimes you're a little bit awkward and they find that very sexy. <laughs> They feel as though sometimes when you don't know what to say or what to do, it makes them want to swoop in and sort of take over and seduce you. They feel like you're, you're adorable in so many ways. Your person's intentions with you, they, the full card is lovely energy. 
there has been some sort of discord in the recent past. We're seeing that your person feels as though they really made a mistake with you. They're, they want forgiveness. They want you to give them that new opportunity with the Fool card because they realize that they said and did some things that were not really straightforward. What we see is that in a moment when you should have been your happiest, it looks as though your person did something. So they're intending to have a new beginning with you, to bring the happiness and the joy back into this relationship, to show you the best of who they are. Why do we have the energy of the Page of Wands? Throwing caution to the winds. That's their intention, choosing you, you know, making that choice, stepping into the future, being very clear cut about how they see this relationship growing, uh, to, to go ahead and stake their claim. They definitely feel the Nine of Cups energy. It makes them so happy that they feel that they can be very logical with you. They can talk to you about practical matters. The two of you may decide to sign again. You may buy a property together, move in together. But they love, love, love the fact that you are their joyfulness. And even when they make a head over heart decision, they know how happy you make them. So they definitely feel as though you are a great choice. The Queen of Swords is super smart, and if you were messy and unattractive or did things in the relationship they didn't like, they wouldn't be so happy. They're very aware of how much power and love that you bring to the table. We have the Eight of Coins in the past. They were making more money at the, another time in their life with you. They, it looks like they've taken some sort of pay cut to try to advance later. They're working at a new job or a new situation. It looks like your person is going to bring uh, more money to the table. But there is a, a little bit of a shortfall or a shortage right now for the next few weeks. I would say for the month of November, they will be a little bit tighter with their money. But they actually provide quite a bit uh, of benefit in this relationship because they want this legacy with you. They're willing to earn the legacy with you. They're very proud of themselves about this. We see the chariot card when it looks like, you know, the two of you are collaborating in life together. They are moving forward very rapidly, coming towards you. Honey, I'm home. Let's really create something that's delightful. This is about mutual creation. These are their actions. The Page of Swords, what is, it, what is it that they're trying to learn about you, Aries? Because your person looks as though they're trying to figure things out. It looks as though their actions will be three of coins, again, something collaborative. And what else? What else is it that they want from you? They're trying to get the lay of the land. They're trying to see what you want, what you are communicating to them. Four of Wands, you're communicating stability, the desire that they have. Four of Wands, Four of Wands. A lot of repeating energy. This is a very powerful reading, and this flipped over in the deck a second ago. I had to sort of dig it out. But the overall energy that you know they see in terms of the reading is a strength card, and it's here twice. That's double Leo energy. Your person is very fiery. They are very proud. They probably take offense a little bit... Um, easily in terms of their pride but your person is really they love you they want the best with you they really want to provide you with a sense of stability that is unusual um, they're in the, sort of this feeling that yes they've made some mistakes in this relationship and yet the two of you have a bright future together and that you're working through them let's see what the sacred destiny says this person has time has taken time. They've had a, a fair degree of solitude, and they know that if they want this to really work, that they have to have peace. Peace has to prevail here. Patience and peace in this relationship brings it into its final destination of a beautiful destiny together. Navigating by the stars, following your bliss, and you are their bliss. The Nine of Cups, the Sun card, the Ten of Coins, the Strength card, the Four of Wands, the Fool card. They feel like every day is a new adventure with you. <laughs> and Aries, you guys are quite, quite fun, but you're really always up to something new, and they really enjoy that about you. 
the ascending the mountain keep going forward is what your person spirit guides are telling them so aries that is your love reading for the week sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from thank you Bye bye